CEO of a PR Souls and uh, three senior chef and then one new chef and then they are all having a great time but uh, the senior chef is doing nothing but relaxing and uh, the new chef has to work all the time to do actually non, non essential work such as preparing uh, and restocking or Yes, I am the person who worked in, the, in this position before. We have to enter it. We have to enter it. We have to enter it. We have to keep doing this. And then one day, one day, you will have another person come after you. And the time you will have seniority, and then that time you will have other person doing this. And then you will make it from here to here. You will be accepted into the family. So, if I'm a manager, I will see if uh, they treat them too often, they treat them the uh, bad way, and then the chef department is not teaching, is not teaching their office, is not teaching their employees. Then I will talk to the chef department. Maybe the chef department has something wrong. Can you give me another example about food? food? It is very common that the, the meal employee has to do the cleaning and then the chef does not have to do the cleaning. It's very common. It's so normal. It's happened all the time. What makes the illustration ruling? Because he has to do his work during the break time. He don't have his break time. And then the other chef is not having him. He's doing all this alone. So I want to suggest it's not the breakdown that makes it bullying, it's the teasing that makes it bullying. <laughs> yes. that's, if that person's supposed to get a break, supposed to have a break, yes. by law they have a break. So I would say zero tolerance that this person shouldn't be abused, not even part-time. Well, what do you mean by backstabbing? His job's supposed to be refueling and assisting, refueling the bar line, and then refueling the plates. But uh, one day, the party project was asked this guy to do the fry, to do a fry. So others chef in Bali, when they saw this, because they think that the commies shouldn't be on top of the wall to cook food. So the others chef in Bali thinks that uh, this commies is not respecting the kitchen. So they ask at him. So every time he's not around, and then the commies will start talking about him. Or even if he is not around, Community is still talking about him and teasing about him, so it makes create a lot of pressure to the kid and force this kid to resign himself. Uh, Vita, if you were the head chef and you walked into the work area and you saw this happening during break time, what would you do? If I have proven that uh, if he is doing good at another department, 
so I have proven to the mentor that this mentor is not qualified to take the UV. Okay, then what do you do with the mentor? Then I'll, maybe I'll assign him to another, another task where he don't need the UV, where he don't need to co cooperate with uh, other teams. Or else I will, I will give him a strong warning that if you still cannot cooperate, still cannot work with the other person, then I'll have to let you go and find something else to do. Is it typical in a kitchen for People, every person has a mentor. It's typical in the kitchen. Okay, if you have 10 people who are in the kitchen, where do you find 10 mentors? You can't find 10 mentors, but uh, one mentor might have at uh, the smallest as the three commits in a single time. How do you identify a mentor? What are the characteristics of a mentor? Uh, uh, let's say we have three stations here, and guys are all trained in these stations. So let's say today a commits come, so he has been placed into the System, the advisor station. So in the advisor station, there should be one sous chef mentoring the entire station. And the sous chef, under the sous chef, there should be chef department and daily chef and commis. So let's say this guy is a commis in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the station. He don't work alone, he work in the station. He assists in the kitchen. He assists in the system itself. So uh, you don't have to, his mentor will be the family chef, the chef party, and also the school chef is responsible for him. So if you don't have one mentor by his own, uh, like let's say uh, only the chef department is responsible for him, no, but the school chef also will be responsible to take care of him. Anything else you'd like to say? Well, this is kitchen, everybody knows. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Um, okay, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.